Hey internet, Couchy Potato here. For this video, I'm going to show how to root the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 using the TWRP method. The root method on this video should work on the Note 4 SM910T and other models of the Note 4 that don't have a locked bootloader. This root method will replace your stock recovery with Team Win's recovery. TWRP has more features than your phone's stock Android recovery as it allows backups and a lot of other neat options to give you more control over your phone. The TWRP root method is a little more involving than the one-click root method, but by doing this method, you will get more knowledge about the Android operating system and it's easier to backtrack if mistakes were made during the root process, as TWRP lets you make backups. Okay, let's begin. Go to your phone settings. About device. Note the model number and Android version you have. Now let's download TWRP for the Note 4. Check what processor your model Note 4 has by doing a quick Google search. I have the Note 4 model SM910T. So I will be downloading TWRP Note 4 Qualcomm version. You can get it at this website. If you have a Note 4 that has the Exynos processor, the link for TWRP for Exynos Note 4 is in the description. I'll be clicking T-Mobile since SM910T is the T-Mobile Note 4. Click TWRP 2.8.7, the TAR file or whichever version is the latest at the time you're watching this video. Get the tar image file. Save the file into a folder you can easily remember. For me, I just made a folder called Note 4 root. Save. Okay, next we are going to download the ROM flashing tool, Odin. Type on Google search, Odin 3v185. We are going to use Odin to flash the TWRP tar image we just downloaded to the Note 4. Look for the result Odin 1.85 XDA forums. It should be the first link that appears on the search. Click it. Save it on the same folder you downloaded the TWRP tar file. Now let's download the actual file that will give you root access to the Note 4. Type super su on Google search. Click the link super su.zip chainfire. This will take you directly to the super su homepage. Click download update super su 2.46 or whichever version is out at the time you're watching this video. Save it on the same folder as the previous files. Plug in the data cable to the Note 4 and computer. Wait until your computer detects the Note 4. Click Galaxy Note 4. Click Note 4 Internal Memory. Click the Download folder. OK, let's copy the update Super SU zip file onto the download folder in your phone. Right click Super SU zip. Click Copy. Go to the download folder of the Note 4. Right click and paste. Once the files are done transferring from your computer to the phone, unplug the USB data cable. OK, shut down your Note 4. We are going to enter the Note 4's download recovery mode. To enter download mode, Hold the power button, center button, and volume down button for a few seconds. Press volume up to continue. While download mode is active, connect the USB data cable to the computer. Make sure you are using a USB 2.0 port directly to the computer. 
If you use a USB 2.0 hub or a USB 3.0 port, you might encounter problems during the Odin flash. Okay, if you haven't already extracted the Odin 3 file, do so now. I extracted it earlier, but I forgot to record, so I'm extracting it again. Sorry. Open the Odin 3 exe file. You should see this 0, COM4 or something. If you don't see anything there, check to make sure you are directly connected to the computer using a USB 2.0 port and not a hub or 3.0 port. If you are connected via USB 2.0 directly to the computer and you still don't see the COM thing here, then you probably need the Samsung USB drivers. The links to the Samsung USB drivers can be found on the screen and in the description. Once you have IDCOM lit up, you're good to go. Make sure auto reboot is unchecked or you won't be able to get into TWRP recovery. I made the mistake leaving it checked and had to actually do this part twice. So what you're seeing is the footage of me making that mistake. I fixed this behind the scenes by doing it again, but I forgot to record it up to this point. So just assume I have auto reboot unchecked for the next step. Click PDA. Go to the folder you downloaded all the files to. Click the TWRP image tar file that you downloaded earlier. Click open. Okay, once again, make sure auto reboot, repartition, and flash lock are unchecked. Click start. Wait for the flashing to finish. Okay, on this part, since we unchecked auto reboot, we need to shut off the phone by taking out the battery. Remove the battery. Unplug the USB cable. Put the battery back. Put back the battery cover and now we are ready to enter TWRP recovery mode. Hold the power button, middle button and volume up button to enter TWRP recovery. On the top left you should see some red text to know TWRP has flashed correctly. Ok we're in TWRP recovery. I strongly suggest before moving on to the next step to make a backup of your phone with the backup option especially if this is your first time rooting your Note 4. Since I've done this already a couple of times, I'll skip making a backup. Hit install. Scroll down to download. Update Super SU Zip. Swipe to confirm flash. Once it's done flashing Super SU, reboot the phone. Should take a bit of time for the phone to load up, so I'll skip this part. Now let's open up Super SU as it's installed on the phone. Super SU can be found under Apps. If you see a pop-up saying to disable Knox, press yes. I did not get this pop-up because I rooted in Android 5.0.1, but if you're rooting from Android 4.4.4, you'll see the pop-up. You'll see super user is enabled, so we have root on this Note 4 now. And that's it. Now you have a rooted Samsung Galaxy Note 4. If you rooted from Android 4.4.4 and want to keep your root without installing the latest update, check out my video for preventing over-the-air updates with Deep Loader. If you want to downgrade your Note 4 to stock Android 4.4.4 KitKat, check out my video for it here.